In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a trellis chart. You'll also sometimes hear it called a panel chart. On the right hand side, you can see a visualization I created for Makeover Monday that shows electri electricity produced by type over different countries in Europe. There's eight easy steps to get this created. First off, let's look at the reasons we have to create a panel chart in the way that we do. So I'm going to drag order date to the columns. I'm going to choose month and year. And I'm going to put sales on text and subcategory on the rows. Now what you'll notice here, for example, is copiers. They're, they don't start sales until May of 2017. But if we go ahead and create a trellis chart with these, we have to tell Tableau kind of how does it, how does it recognize that these, uh, these dates, uh, we need to account for these dates. So to do that, first thing we need to do is have a couple of calculations. I'm going to put all this information in the notes for this video, so feel free to just watch along. So I need two calculations, one for the rows and one for the columns. I'm going to drag it over to the left-hand side to give me my rows calculation, and then drag this one over for my columns calculation. I'm then going to go ahead and make each of those discrete. So the trick now is that we need to create a custom date for our subcategory sales. So I'm going to right-click on the month field, go to uh, Create Custom Date. I want to choose Month. And the detail I want is pick months, and I want to use date value to give me my continuous months. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and start building out our view. So we'll put columns on the columns, row on the rows. Let's put our date field in the columns, sales in the rows. And now we want each of these blocks to be represented by a subcategory. So let's put subcategory on detail. Now you notice we just have a bunch of dots now, and that's because we need to configure our, our table calculations. So let's edit our table calculation for the columns. We want to have subcategory and then month, and we want it to restart every subcategory. Now you can see we're starting to get some lines. Let's edit the rows and set that up the same way. So we want to make sure that the, the dimension comes before our date field and subcategory. And now you see it looks like we have something, <clears throat> except there's some things that look a bit weird, like this line here, or it's we see fasteners in this column, but yet it's represented by chairs. <clears throat> so we need to account for where there's data missing. So if I go back here, you'll see for um, fasteners, we have a month month missing here in, in uh, January of 2018, so right in there. So to do that, we need to go ahead and let's copy this month field down to the detail shelf, change the month on the columns to be an attribute, and now you can see things are starting to link up together. Let's go in and look at our table calculation again. And you have to make sure that it goes by the dimension and then the time series and at the level of whatever dimension you use. And also over here on the marks card, make sure you have your dimension before the custom date field. <clears throat> and there we have it. We have each of our, I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll put subcategory on the label so you can see this a bit better. I'll go on the ends of the lines and now we can see each of these sections is represented by one subcategory. All right, so let's look at another example with the uh, the data I created for, uh, or the data we used for Makeover Monday. I'm just going to go ahead and copy these two calculations for, for uh, to speed things up. Go to my EU Power Sector and paste. And notice we don't actually have a date field in this view, so we're going to need to create one. So I'm going to create a date. I'll just call it my uh, date. And I'm going to choose Make Date. And I have a year field, so I'm going to put year in there. And then just comma 1, comma 1. And that'll just give me each year. OK. And again, we want to go ahead and create a custom date. Now, our date is only at the year level. So I'm just going to call this year custom date. Oops. Let's rename that. Let's, let me edit that again. Year custom date. Set the detail to months and date or sorry, to years and date value. Okay, and uh, let's do some filtering first. So the area we want to look at is, uh, uh, we could just look at, uh, we'll just look at all of the fields. And the variable, let's just look at one of the variables. So let's say, uh, let's just look at uh, renewables versus fossil fuels. 
Okay, so again, the steps are to, uh, let's see, we're going to place our columns on our columns, rows on our rows, and we're going to place the custom date on the detail shelf. I'm going to copy the custom date field up to the columns and make it an attribute. I'm going to put my, my measure onto the rows, and we're going to put my area onto the detail shelf. Okay, so we see we just have these bunch of bars. And let's go ahead and configure our table calculation. So we wanted to go by area by year, and then area for our compute using. And then let's edit the table calc again, and year, area and then year at the level area. And notice it looks a bit weird. So you see how these are all just individual dots? Well, that's because over here on my marks card, you can see that my area and my year are in the wrong order. So I want to make sure my time is below my dimension. And there we go. So now we have our nice little view of, of uh, each of these measures. OK, so if I go ahead and actually let me put share production on here because it'll look a bit nicer. And I'll put variable onto color. And now we can see that nice view. And since there's uh, there's dates missing, that's what our attribute function takes care of. So one more time, let me go through the steps. The first thing is to create these column and row calculations. The second step was to create a custom date. And then from there, we place our column on our columns, our rows on our rows, our custom date onto detail, our dimension onto detail. Make sure that the dimension is above the time. Put your custom date also on the columns. Make it an attribute. Put the measure you want to use on the rows. And then when you, you need to configure both table calculations, you're going to choose specific dimensions. And you're going to choose the, area, the dimension and then the uh, time series. And you're going to do at the level for whatever dimension you pick. OK, and that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Have a great day.